You are valuable. You are special. You are priceless. These are all really nice things to hear, and I don't know anyone who doesn't want to know these and actually believe these things about themselves. But have you ever wondered if it's really true? Have you ever felt that when somebody says that you're valuable, that it's just because they're being nice, or because they're related to you, or because they want something from you? How much do you think you're worth? And more importantly, how do you really figure out how much you're worth? I'm going to show you how you can have the greatest sense of self-worth, which is how much you believe you're worth. And not just in a feel-good way, but in a way that is based on solid truth. Let's say you are taking a walk through a forest, and you see what looks like a hole that somebody started to dig. Now you've heard that treasures have been found in this very forest, and people have even hidden treasures here. Your curiosity gets the best of you, and you dig a little deeper where the hole was. And pretty quickly, you find two interesting objects. The first object looks like a diamond ring. It was buried in the dirt, so you have to wipe off the dirt, but you can see that it's pretty large, and it could be worth a lot of money. The second object grabs your attention because it's a smelly piece of fungus that's about the size of a golf ball. Which one do you think is the treasure? Well, to get the answer, you're going to need to understand how to find out how much something is worth. When it comes to diamonds, you can read all about the cut, the color, the carrot, and the clarity. But if you're not an expert, you're going to have trouble figuring out how much it's really worth. In fact, you might even think that it's a diamond when it's actually just fake jewelry. You need to take it to somebody who actually knows. Taking it to somebody who doesn't know would be ridiculous. If I took a diamond ring to a one-year-old to find out how much they think it's worth, the one-year-old would probably just put it in their mouth and spit it out somewhere at some point. And if I saw how poorly that ring was treated by the one-year-old, and if I decided that it's not worth much because of that, it would be foolish of me. Because that one-year-old doesn't understand the value of a diamond ring. It doesn't understand how to find the value. To find out how much something is really worth, you need to take it to somebody who really knows. I would need to show it to an expert. An expert would be able to look at it and tell me how much it's worth. And then I would truly know, especially if the expert were willing to pay that much themselves. What about that lump of fungus? Well, did you know that one of the most expensive foods in the world is a very specific type of fungus that grows underground and according to some people, smells like sweaty socks. It's called a truffle. There's many different types of truffles, but only a few of them are edible. And the ones that are edible are highly valued for a number of reasons. First of all, it's really hard to grow them in a typical farm. They only grow along the roots of certain types of trees in the right environment and at the right time of the year. Second, they're very rare and hard to find. When something is rare, and when it's wanted, it becomes more valuable. And then there's more. Because they're hard to find, they've typically been hunted by highly trained animals. Historically, they've used pigs and dogs that have been trained to find the truffles and hopefully not eat them. And then the packaging and shipping is expensive in order to keep them fresh for all the people that want them around the world. All of these reasons add up in making the truffle very expensive. How expensive can they get? Well, one specific white truffle was sold in 2007 for $330,000 for just 3.3 pounds. So let's go back to the story of the diamond and the fungus. If you're smart, you're going to ask an expert which one is more expensive. You're not going to try to figure out which one is most expensive based upon anyone who doesn't know. You'll find out if the diamond is real or fake, and you'll find out if you have a valuable truffle in your hands and you'll find out how much they're worth by experts. But what's really interesting is that in life we tend to ask people who don't know us well enough to know our true value. Your self-worth is how much you think that you're worth. Everyone wants to know that they're special and important. However, your view of yourself often comes from what you think others think about you. If you think others don't like you and think that you're not very important, you might believe that you're not important and your self-worth would be low. But the only one who knows what you're really worth is God. He knows you better than anyone. He is the one who created you and knit you together in your mother's womb. He knows how many hairs are on your head. And when you get up and when you go to sleep, he's there. 
He knows what you're thinking, and he knows your heart better than you do. And he also knows the value of everything in creation. He's the author of life itself, so there's absolutely no one who's a better expert. So what does God say about you? He says that you're worth dying for. And he didn't just say it, he demonstrated it by dying on the cross for you. Ephesians 1, 7 said, He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. So he said that you're worth the blood of his son. My true self-worth comes from knowing I'm extremely valuable because of God. There are going to be some really tough times in your life. Maybe you've already gone through some really, really difficult times. Or maybe you're in a difficult time right now. It's in those very dark and difficult moments that the enemy speaks lies over you and tells you that you're not valuable. He will try to destroy you by telling you that you're worthless. He can use the voice of people on social media or the voice of people in your home or even the voice in your very head. But no matter what voice he uses, it's a lie. God is the expert. And he said that you are so valuable that you are worth dying for. You are worth paying for with the blood of my son. So it shouldn't matter what anybody else says about you. You are important and loved by the most important being in the universe. He sings over you because he loves you. Zephaniah 3.17 says, The Lord your God wins victory after victory and is always with you. He celebrates and sings because of you, and he will refresh your life with his love. The voice that matters to us the most is the one that we value the most. So the question is whether you will put God's voice and God in the most valued position in your life. When you do, then what he says becomes most true for you. Store these truths in your heart for the days that are most difficult. Remember that your confidence comes from God because he is good and he knows the truth and he says that you're worth dying for. You are loved. So keep fueling yourself with God's love and truth.